What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grant Tizzle, and we are back for some more graphic work. In this session, well, should I say the last session, I showed you guys how to extract hair and to extract human beings, vixen models, or whatever the case may be. But this is a follow-up of the flyer tutorial, party flyer. Now, this is going to be a generalized uh, type of thing. I'm not, you know, trying not to keep you here forever, but uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun while we're putting it all down. So we're going to start off with a blank canvas and we're going to start off with a color and that color is going to be blue but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a dark first BAM then we're going to add another layer and this is going to be the pretty much the primary color that I actually want to use which will probably be uh, more of a uh, royal blue boom and we're going to deselect, go to our filter, and then we're going to blur, Gaussian blur. Now, my wife is home, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't going to be having no video vixens up, but I'll use a nice person. And um, you're going to be Mary J. Now, uh, for the record, fam, I, I do want to say this. You want to, you do want to have at least. 20 key elements um, that you may want to use when you're putting together your flyer, uh, you know, flyer designs. Now, of course, you want to give and take, you know, do have a little more, maybe a little less, but you want to have your set of speakers. You want to have your set of disco balls. You want to have your set of doves, a set of diamonds, some palm trees, and some champagne bottles. Now, of course, um, you know, it's going to be a variety of other different things, but this is a good starter. You know what I mean? This is a good starter, and this is more than enough to uh, for you to accomplish your will. So let's select Mary J, and we'll throw her in there. Uh, I already got her extracted and, uh, you know, color corrected and all that other madness. So let's drop her in there, and she can go. And uh, we're pretty much going to keep her this size, because we're Put some font down there and some tags and some, you know, instructional information, this, that, and the other. Now, we're going to keep this simple again, fam. Um, you already know how to do the thing. Now, I'm going to show you a trick later. This technique is where I've actually put light on her, like uh, she's being lit up from behind. You'll see the little light there, you know, little light on the shoulders, boom. That's a technique that I use, but we don't have time to do it today but I will get back to it and if you really really want to get into some real <coughs> excuse me <coughs> some deep and detailed graphics now you know when you're doing tutorials please never never cough and choke and burp and hiccup and all of that stupid crap like I'll be doing I'm just a cuckoo clock but I prefer you be more professional so what we're going to do here is the first thing we're going to do is start to maybe try to design a background so we got the fade, right? And we got the black for the shadow, right? So now let's kind of start. Oh, I got the hiccups, y'all. That's because I was drinking a little bit of uh, Odoo's and some Hennessy and vodka, seven times distilled. No, I'm just kidding. Some Kool-Aid, real strong Kool-Aid with a whole lot of sugar. So I'm speeding right now. So anyway, let me hold my breath for a minute. I got to pause this. All right, I think, uh, I think I'm set. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do, fam, is let's kind of add some noise and just some uh, background abstract designs. And think, uh, kind of think like a graphic designer on this here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is just to make it kind of busy in the back, let's, let's pull up some clouds. And let's, uh, let's put some, some white, maybe, maybe a little gray. And we'll see if it works. Okay. That might work a little bit. So I'll put a little bit right there. Okay, that that's kind of cool. Let's uh let's get our erase tool, erase tool, and maybe uh let me see. We'll shrink it and maybe we'll kind of erase the bottom a little bit, All right? And let's uh, let's blur it too. Let's blur it. I'm gonna turn this up, and we'll blur the bottom. We'll blur the bottom. And this this is a kind of, uh, you know, Bob Ross type of technique. You know what I mean? And uh, maybe it's, uh, let me see, smudge. Maybe we can, yeah, that's a little bit. That's a little bit. Smudge a little bit. 
All right, cool. Now we got that, and uh, let's add uh, maybe something else kind of really busy. Let's um, let's do another layer, and we let's pile a little bit of a uh, sunray. Sunray. And if you want to know where I get all these brush tools from, BrushEasy.com. Everybody know that. Come on. So let's uh, we're going to expand this. And I'm going to hit it. Boom. Oh, sorry. That's, yeah, I got to put it on the, the paint too. But anyway, fam, you get it from Brush Easy. And I download hundreds, hundreds and hundreds. Because I, I never know what I need. So I even download things that I, I don't even know I'm going to need later. Okay, boom. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn opacity down. All right. And let's get our eraser and kind of fade that in down here boom all right and uh, let's add some other things other little elements um, we'll go up here and uh, let's let's get some polka dots let's find try to find some polka dots now the reason if you want to know the reason why I'm kind of you know making it you know busy and things like that fam is uh, because it look good and uh, it looks productive. Now, right here, let me here, let me back this up real quick. We're not going to do that. What I'm going to do is go to my brushes. I'm going to go to my brushes, and I'm going to turn this like so. So all we do is get the small little dots. You see? And then uh, we're going to come and turn the dots down so it won't be so uh, apparent. And then we're going to go and get our erasure tool. Erasure. The heck am I talking about? And kind of do it like that. So we got a little bit of something going on in the background. All right. Just a little something going on in the background. And uh, we, we're, we're going to come back to this. Let's start adding some elements. So the first thing we're going to do is create another layer. I'm going to go into a file that I already got. And let's put this disco ball. Put that disco ball in the back. Now I like to save all my files as... PNG and this should have saved as a PNG file, fam. Oh, it didn't. Oh, why? PNGs are supposed to. Oh, I should have had that separate. Okay, I didn't have that separated. No worries. No worries. Just go to the tolerance. 11. Oh, that's too much. 1. Two, maybe. Two. Ah, that ain't turning out so good for me, fam. Sorry, sorry about that. Let me deselect and see if I can pull up. Uh, maybe this is cleaner. There we go. That's a PNG file with the background removed. Okay, so let's drag that back there. And we'll delete her. We'll take her and we'll put her in the back. And let's shrink her down a bit. Bing, bing. Boom. So now we got a little something, something happening, right? Now let's adjust the levels, fam. Let's adjust the contrast. So we'll select it, and then we'll go up here, and um, we'll go to levels. And uh, we want to add some contrast to that. So you see I'm pulling, I'm darkening up, I'm brightening it up. I'm just making it real punchy and contrasty so it won't be so washed out. Boom. And uh, now that we got that, let's go in here. And let's open up some PNG speakers. So which one we use? Let's use the brown. See what can happen here. We see we got that PNG. And uh, let's pull that back there. Boom. And uh, what I'm going to do is let's shrink this down. Pull it up. Shrink it down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind those there. And we'll give it some dimension, making it small, but, uh, you know. And we'll pull it behind the speaker. So now we got that. And for symmetry, first of all, let me go, let me do some levels on it real quick before I copy it. We'll do some levels. We'll darken it up. Brighten it a little. Make it punchy. Unreal. And let's copy it. And now that I have two versions, let's transform it and flip it horizontal. Hold shift, hit the arrow button, slide it so it can move fast, 
and make it symmetric. All right, so boom. So we got that. Now let's add some other elements. Uh, let's do this. Let's take the mirror ball. Let's name that mirror ball. And let's drag this down. And uh, let's slide a mirror ball up here. 